think you are. Let's get going. Okay, something really funny just happened. I realized after I screwed this in that this leg is upside down. See, here's the flat part of the apron and this little gusset bracket that I've put here. This is where I'm going to attach the top of my table. So, and this bottom part here is rounded and sanded. And that means the top of my table should go right here. So obviously that's not going to work with a leg in the way. I put this leg on upside down. And uh, a good carpenter is someone who can fix his mistakes without anyone knowing. So here's what I have to do. It's not a problem. I'll pull out these bolts, okay? Then I'll have to take the apron and flip it over. Then I'll just take a new leg and put it on here and just use these holes as my guide and I'll just drill new holes uh, into a new leg. And then I'll take this leg, which has the holes already in it, and I'll put it on another side and then I'll put my drill through the holes of the leg and drill into the apron. So this is a saveable mistake. Now, had I done that to all four legs and, and then not noticed it, that would have been a problem. I still would have been able to fix it, but it would have been a bigger problem. So since I caught the mistake after the first leg, I'm going to be able to save it. And really, uh, the, the only crime here is that Brucey wasn't here to see this. Because he loves when I screw up. It gives him an opportunity to say, you know, Pete, with your ability, there is nothing stopping you from being a marginal carpenter. All right, so let's fix this mistake. It'll just let you in on a little woodworking secret of a professional goof up. Me! Ta da! The legs are on. And they're all on correctly this time. <laughs> So now I'm going to flip this thing over and maybe we'll do a dry fit of the tabletop, see how it looks. Well here we are, the final step. The legs and apron have been finished and reassembled. The tabletop has been attached to the apron. It's all cleaned up, dried, ready to go. And now, this is the proverbial icing on the cake. I'm gonna put four coats of clear finish on the tabletop. I'm gonna sand lightly between each coat, and then we will be done. And it's gonna look spectacular. Here we go. There's a great feeling of satisfaction when it comes time to put on the finish because it marks the end of the job. And it's also very easy to do. Of all the tasks I've done so far, this will be the easiest because I just get to stand here in the quiet room and apply the finish and there's no cutting, there's no heavy lifting. I just get to admire the beauty of this table. And I love looking at it. It's just so big and heavy and I love looking at all the lines, especially on the end, the way the grain lines up on the end and the legs knowing that these legs were in the walls of someone's home for 70 years and now they're getting another life as the legs of my table it's pretty cool and i really look forward to sitting down at this table with people and sharing meals and talking and doing homework with my child uh, folding laundry and all the other great things that you do on a fine piece of furniture like this so I'm really happy with it. It looks fantastic, and I can't wait to get it done and sit down with Cousin Brucey and plan the next project.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. How'd you feel about that, Mercy? Wasn't great. I would expect nothing less from you. Okay. <laughs> Join us next time when we figure out how to build some chairs for this thing so we can get up off our knees. 